after work. This is a little bit darker side of mom, especially after the kind of fucking day I had. Um, to, for starters, that, that tyrant is driving me fucking insane. He is. Um, the better I get, the more critical he gets. And it really is pissing me off because when I started, it was a shit show. And I couldn't even make heads or tails out of his fucking accounts. And now that I'm doing good, he's uh, nitpicking me to fucking death. And it's making me want to quit. And also, it's really fucking hard calling these people because they're in call centers like around the world, like I've told you. Like a lot of fucking call centers are. And I have the option to do one thing in a portal. And today, I literally fucking almost walked out and quit. I kind of threw a little bit of a fucking tantrum. And oddly, I ran into his boss and told him. Because I was like, fuck this. I was like, you know, I don't understand why I can't just do it online. Talking to these people, they don't understand what I'm saying. And so guess what? I got my way. But every time I think I get a whim with that fucking Bin Laden, it doesn't pan out. He finds a new way to fuck with me. And I keep trying to remind myself that I heard them say he has nothing to do till Monday. So he's going to sit and fucking nitpick me to death. And then on Monday... You know, we have a new computer system, and I'm going to be doing more than him, so I'll probably learn it faster than him. So maybe he can't, like, ride my ass as fast with the new system. And also, um, he's got two other fucking positions to fill, so maybe he'll have his hands full pretty soon. But, and to top it off, your father was texting me. He's like, why hasn't that lady listed the house? Yeah, I don't fucking know. I told him, like, over a week ago, I didn't want to go with her because she was being flaky on me I asked her you know send me listings and she wasn't sending them I was like maybe we shouldn't go with her I told him that and then she went on a whole fucking vacation to Texas and was like oh I'll call you when I get back she didn't even call till fucking Tuesday and here we are Thursday and you know he was like usually people list a house for a week when they're gonna do a show yeah I know I mean I got a lot of shit going on in my personal life that he doesn't know about and so fuck it it's so pretty here I should I don't know, I should actually roll this up because it's going to sound like shit on the audio for you. And I, I debated, you know, I thought, should I send Marcus a video like this? Look at me, I'm all sweaty, I'm fucking pissed. I just don't like dealing with Ben Laden. I don't. Especially because I should be fucking congratulated for how I turned that shit around. And now that I made it good, he's trying to act like this is the way it's always been. No, it ain't, motherfucker. You ain't as good as me. He half-assed it. And he's taking my good fucking work, making it better, sure, I should think of it like that, and fucking just won't leave me alone. Ugh. Yeah, and then to top it off, after that, you know, your dad responded about your driver's license, and he's like, Marcus won't even talk to me. It's probably because of what you told him. Um, doesn't he think that maybe cheating on Marcus's mother might make Marcus feel kind of weird? I don't know. Or maybe almost making Marcus's mother homeless? And almost making Marcus have to sign for his mother to have a place to live. I mean, I don't know. And maybe the fact that, you know, he didn't invest in your life or talk to you. Maybe that. Yeah, maybe that he's a selfish fucking person that only cares about him. You know, you didn't even get to come home from South Korea because of him. Could any of those be a factor? And then he wants to sit and fucking blame me for everything. I'm tired of it. I'm just so tired of point, point, point by fucking everybody. If it's not my boss, it's your dad. And they're the exact same personality type. So yeah, at least I won't have to make those fucking phone calls anymore. And I can actually just go on the computer because I'm going to quit eventually. I can't handle that fucking asshole. And uh, as for dad, I yeah, let's just sell it. The lady sent an email and she says she'll drop off the box tonight. And um, we can just put a key in it. And, um, sure. We'll do that. <laughs> and then this weekend, I don't care how she shows it. Someone will buy it. There's not a lot of shit on the market. And I mean, it's a nice house. So I just want to go. I don't even care where I go at this point. I'm so tired of hearing your father cry like he's a victim. He should be ashamed. He should be begging for my forgiveness. He should be like, are you okay? I'm, you know, I want to make sure you're taking care of fuck. No, he's like, I'm going to throw you away. I don't give a fuck where you live. I don't give a fuck if you could afford to live. I don't give a fuck about you. And then I'm going to cry like I'm the victim. Fuck him. 
by Cherry Creek, so you know that always puts me in a good mood. Um, it's really good that God wakes us up every single day, and I'm in a good mood. I don't let people get to me. I put up with a lot of shit, and uh, I don't know. I really hate the computer system we're using, because that's a lot of the problem that we're having. It, it generates its own goddamn shit. We're constantly cleaning it up, and I just am... I, I just feel like nobody appreciates me. I do. I do. And I feel like I'm being micromanaged, and I cannot fucking stand that. <laughs> I don't care, though. At least this is the type of job where I get to walk away and not give a shit. So I need to learn to do that, but you know... What else do I have to think about? The shit show of a life your father gave me. And then him acting like, oh, it's your fault because you said something about me. The truth? That's what I told him. I was like, I told our son the truth about you? And like, you didn't fucking see your dad abusing me, hiding in the basement. Ooh, someone's on a boat right now. Look at that. I wish that was me. No, we didn't get no fun. Your father hid in a room and just wanted to punish me because he's a lion ass cheater. And my tyrant ass fucking boss, you know, he had a shit show going on that the last person quit. And then I started into it and cleaned it up. And now he's like, ooh, look at every little error you make. Fuck you. He's an idiot. And so I fucking can't stand stupid men. You're not a stupid man. Not at all. At least I created a man that's not stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to have fun. See, I didn't want to send this because I'm hot. I'm fucking sick of it. I almost quit. I don't care. I'll go buy a house and I'm going to turn around and get another fucking job because nothing could be as bad as this. And, you know, my last one, I could have tolerated that, I guess. I don't know. Everything just fucking sucks. But I'll keep trying until I find something that's good. <laughs> I am way tired. I just created a big error. I catch all most of my errors, though. I mean, I'm doing three, four hundred fucking accounts. If I make maybe five errors, ooh, what, I have a 95% fucking success rate? Let's talk about that. Shit. <laughs> I know math. Oh my god. I'm really not in the mood for all this. I'm not. I'm not in the mood to move. I'm not in the mood to be going through this. And I keep trying to make the best of everything. And no, my boss doesn't know unless one of the other big mouth fucking bitches told him he doesn't know what I'm going through and I'm not going to tell him I think I'm just going to call in sick and be like oh fuck it too bad so sad because I just don't want these people knowing my life they have completely turned me off <laughs> and so is your father at this point I mean he's going to write it to the end that he's a nice little victim sure it's a fucking freak that's what he is and he finally got caught. <laughs> so, oh, I did look so pretty today. And I had a nice video for you this morning. And my after work videos, this is what they're like. Because I have to deal with that tyrant. And yes, I am trying to keep in mind. He's going to have another employee soon. So, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully I'll keep him occupied. I have never in my life been this micromanaged. Pharmacy was better than anything I've done in the past few years. And I might fucking go back. I'm sick of it. Dealing with patients was much better than this. They were going to have a party tomorrow for the tyrant's wife leaving. I was going to bring something. I'm bringing shit. I fucking hate these people. They kiss my ass. Okay. See, I vented. I'm better. There's the outskirts of Cherry Creek, and I don't like to come home like this to my... I really didn't want to dump this energy on you either. Um, I want to go home, and I got to go say hi to her, and, you know, it's going to be hard for her, too, going through this, and really hard for me, because she's not going to... She's used to running around until she has to take a shit and taking care of her own bathroom shit by herself, and now I'm going to have to probably walk her or take her somewhere, because I don't know if I'm going to get a yard big enough. I just want to get away from your father at this point, though. I cannot hear his fucking lies for one more second. I cannot. 
acting like, oh, talking is the problem. No, you cheating, abusing, you know, being in, locking yourself in rooms, that's the problem. It's fucking insane. And I can't get over. In or out, Chuck, in or out. Fucking, come on. And I need to get over, but there's a car right there. So are you gonna let me in? You hear me putting that fucking... My car has the intake thing on it your dad redid, so it makes me sound like I'm fucking racing, even though I'm not. And I could barely even see on that side, sorry. <laughs> I'm still pretty. I don't care. I will be pissed. I will be feisty and I'll still be pretty at the end of the day, but I am a little sweaty. <sighs> I hate him. I hate that. I hate the man I work with and I hate that man that's hiding in the basement. I mean, it's up to you what kind of relationship you have with him, but I am not going to take the blame for what has happened here. None of it. I was a good wife. I was a good mother. I took care of everything in his fucking life so he could get successful. And he does me fucking dirty and then wants to play the victim? He's the one that gets fucking six figures to live off of. I get nothing. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a better start than most women who are married to abusers. But, yeah, it's going to be very hard for me. Just thank God Biden's getting rid of my student loans. That really would have sucked. <laughs> I hate him. I absolutely hate your father at this point. I don't have hate in my heart, but I'm just tired of it. Like, I need support. I should have been given the opportunity to find a good, you know, job for myself to secure my future. We should have been building our life together. He should have been worried about my happiness, my security, protecting me, providing for me. It's not about his him being happy. No, that's not what any of this is about. And that's been our problem. He's never thought about you, never thought about your sister, never thought about shit, but himself. That's what it's always been about. And then he'll show up wherever we go, but there's no connection with that person. It's sick. And I'm so glad to be getting out of it. Hopefully it sells fast and I can have nice holidays. Because maybe I, if I could get out of the situation at home, then I could handle the situation at work. I just can't have my entire fucking life being treated like shit by everybody. Sorry, I don't mean to yell. I'm just tired of it. You see how I start my day, though? I come in with the most positive attitude. I don't take breaks. I will go and eat my lunch as fast as I can. And then I come back in and I don't even take a full lunch. I try so hard. And ew, the fucking tyrant is just a dick every day. I hate him and I think he knows it. He'd kiss my ass. <sighs> I do love living in this neighborhood, though. I'm over by Big Lots right now, and it's just fucking sad. Look, there's Woody <laughs> for Halloween. Did you see? I can't even get excited about the holidays. I did nothing this entire summer. I did go to Cherry Creek once, remember? That's it. Your father went nowhere. He hid in the basement with his all his fucking money. Waiting to just stick it to me because he's a fucking psychopath. And do you, do you even see like how I'm sending you like messages and stuff trying to... Sending your dad messages trying to encourage him and sending you messages showing that I'm trying to encourage your father. I'm the fucking glue. I was the positive one. I was the one that gave you guys a father. I was the one that tried to make him act like one. Because it certainly isn't natural to him. I just feel like I got the short end of the fucking stick in life. And I'm tired of it. I'm just waiting for it to turn around. Yeah. I'll wake up tomorrow and that episode will probably be better. Because I don't hang on to anger very long. But with your father just the victimhood I can't stand it no more I really can't like I you know I was so fucking hurt by what he did and he never apologized he never did anything he's minimized it he's acted like oh nothing yeah really five years meeting that woman the other woman you met her in a parking lot you told me with your mouth you met her in the middle of the night for what cookies and milk no to cheat 
I know exactly what this is. And he, he just won't own it. And he's like, oh, you're making my son hate me. No, you did. You did. I mean, it's so fucked up. You're in fucking South Korea and you have to worry about your mother being homeless. And maybe you have to sign papers and, you know, <laughs> take out a whole bunch of money so to help your mom. And, like, what fucking kind of stress is that? He put that on you. I just can't wait till this is over. And tonight, probably when I walk in the door right now, um... Yeah, the lockbox will be there and whatever. I was just thinking I should probably text her and tell her to go ahead and bring it. But, yeah, I will. I don't... I don't like how this is playing out with her. I don't like how the world's playing out with fucking anybody. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to give all this bad energy. I'll just go. Bye.